What's up, my beautiful nieces and my handsome nephews, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine? It's your girl, Scorpion Queen, but you can call me Auntie. Welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic ass cunts. Divine Feminine, Oscar is out and about. He said he's headed to your town. So if you want him to come and pick up your karmic energy, just put it in the comments. Your city, your state, and your country. And he'll be on his way. Now I'm going to give a few shout outs to the places that Oscar has been and is on his way. Now, if you want a shout out, you put it in the comments. Okay. Oscar is, he's, he's right about now. He's in Pennsylvania. Okay. Oscar is in Pennsylvania. And then from there, he's going to Sydney. NSW. I don't know what NSW is. Somebody put it in the comments. Sydney NSW. I don't know what it means. Okay. Owensboro, Kentucky. Omaha, Nebraska. Okay, that's where Oscar is headed. If you want Oscar to come to your town, please, again, put it in the comments. So we give a shout out <clears throat> to all of those cities and states that I just mentioned. And if you would like a shout out, put it in the comments and give me a nice little comment along with it. But anyway, collective, I'm going to jump off into this reading. And if you're interested in the personal reading, the information is in the description box below. But somebody's person, oh, please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with your energy. So only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest for somebody else. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let that shit go. All right. Now, the energy is. Someone out there wants to start over with you, okay? It must be your ex. And your person's ex or your ex's ex, they know that they want to start over you. And now this karmic ex is stalking you. This karmic ex is also feeling hopeless and brokenhearted. <laughs> she don't want she don't want your person or your ex to cut them off and she's not happy she's broken hearted some of you this person there could have been a divorce okay there could be some sort of uh, it's a broken heart out here but this could mean uh, this is some sort of paperwork this could mean a letter or a message that somebody hasn't got this could be some sort of DNA papers. This could be a marriage certificate. It's paperwork. Okay. It could be a love letter. It could be a text message. Okay. An email. It could even represent money. Okay. But, you know, normally when I read it, I read it off as some sort of divorce papers. But as I look at it, this could be divorce papers or your person they could have the uh, some betrayal that came to the light could they could have found out that if this person you know um these could be dna papers okay they could have found out a child wasn't theirs with these secrets coming out somebody is about to receive some sort of letter or message that's coming in the mail you see, back in the olden days, the mailman rode a horse. You see that bag? This is this is this is the mail lady. Okay? She's coming to bring some sort of paperwork or something. And it, it's it's some sort of secret. Somebody somebody took somebody could have I'm I'ma just go further and find out. 
but there's some sort of paperwork I'm gonna represent see what what this um <laughs> I said represent we're gonna find out what this message in reverse meaning again this may not be your energy this could be your energy or the person you're thinking about okay this could be somebody who you recently broke up with you may not be in communication with this person <coughs> or this could be the person you're thinking about somebody in their energy okay there is also i'm feeling like it's, it's it says who's the fairest out here in a moment of terror okay so this this karmic ex could be experiencing a moment of terror when it comes to some sort of paperwork or something your person could have been with this person and found out they was married or your person could have been married to this person and and um and they they recently got divorced from this person this karmic energy she could be she could be broken hearted behind this paperwork whatever the secrets that's coming out she's broken hearted about it okay and she's unhappy with the sun in reverse over this paperwork see this is somebody's karmic ex now this could be a baby mama an ex-wife ex-girlfriend ex-side piece but whoever it is she's not happy okay she's broken hearted but she's not saying nothing with her in reverse or this this feminine in reverse could represent a evil feminine okay she could be evil okay Try to cover the studio. but yeah she could be evil she could be dark she um she may not be saying nothing when it comes to this paperwork here she could be unhappy about some paperwork she could have found out that um a baby isn't your person she could have been wanting to, to plant a baby on your person and he could have found out that the baby is not his for some of you this could mean this this uh karmic energy this these paperwork in reverse could be your person divorcing them and she may not want to sign the divorce papers so it's different for everybody so take it where it resonates okay somebody don't want somebody to, to cut them off but this was a harsh ending this is some shit that somebody can't come back from whatever these secrets were they can't come back from it okay but whoever it is this is a karmic ex she didn't she didn't she she don't want to she don't want it you know to be over she don't want to end it okay but it's 10 10 out here it's a death it's an ending okay also see a leo energy out here okay what are the secrets holy spirit a third party what about this third party see this could be if you're with your person um it could be she could be a third party to your relationship somebody was wearing a false mask some secrets came out and the universe allowed it to happen okay so this could be your person's energy in the past this could be their karmic ex and they could have found out that um whatever she was she was being false in some sense of you know she's being false she could have had somebody on the side that she was dealing with and your person could have found out and now you know the betrayal is coming to the light i ain't gonna try to pick the cards up but you see the betrayal is coming to the light and now they don't know what to do they feeling hopeless and this is somebody's karmic ex okay and, and they know that your person is stalking you or your person know that they stalking you. Take it where it resonates. Okay? And if, if your person is stalking you, this is a moment of terror for this ex. And this could be why she's broken hearted. Okay? But it's, it's something to do with some paperwork. Some sort of secret came out with this paperwork. Divine Feminine sitting right here. Oh. Oh, shit. The child ain't his. Yeah. And Divine Feminine, you looked at this child. <laughs> yep. 
you looked at this child or this baby and you said that's not your baby you told this person wow yep this was a secret came out that this is not this masculine's baby or your masculine's baby by this karmic ex and now this masculine the betrayal is coming to the light and he want to start over with you okay if this is resonating with you go on and hit that thumbs up button for me share this video with somebody else or on your social media tell me more holy spirit soulmate twin flame so yeah this is something yeah this is somebody's soulmate this is your soulmate or your twin flame okay and this karmic ex is jealous okay she's jealous of you divine feminine because this masculine wants to start over with you tell me more this masculine is crying over you so we're going to find out why. What did this masculine do? Why is he crying? Why is this masculine crying over Divine Feminine? And he's determined to get you back after they left you out. See, he left you out in the cold behind his karmic. That's why he crying. Because if she told him that was his baby, then, you know, he tried, I guess he was trying to be like a man, do the man thing. If he had divine masculine, he tried to do the right thing and he found out that this baby ain't his. Now, this could be his energy of being a broken hearted or this karmic's energy. It could be her broken hearted over the situation. You hear what the what the music playing? He don't hear, care if your hair turn gray. He don't care if you gain a little weight. Mm. He say, long as your love don't change. Yeah, he could have switched up on you. This is why he crying. And for some of you, this song may mean something. It may be have a significance to somebody out there. Okay, what if this masculine? What went on? Oh, why that have to be the first card to come out? Why? Some sort of hex or curse. Oh, commitment. She did a she did a hex or curse for this masculine to to commit to her. And and the hex or the curse could have been her trying to say that this is his baby and it wasn't. She lied. Confusion. So this, this, somebody either this masculine tried to put a hex or a curse on the divine feminine or this jealous ex did. Okay. And your masculine and you could have been married or getting married or in confusion. Or she brought, she brought confusion between you and your master. Okay. Tell me more. Something could have happened on Halloween. I see the, the energy of Leo, Cancer, Pisces. Finality. Pride. What went on between the, the masculine, divine masculine, and the feminine? Divine masculine and divine feminine. What went on? Why is he crying over divine feminine? Influences. So, okay, so for some of you, this masculine is crying over you because he let this karmic influence him to marry her and he thought this was his baby. And now he's finding out that it's not his and that's the betrayal that's coming to the light. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. What happened with the divine feminine and divine masculine? See, whoever this masculine is, he had you feeling, you know, conflicted, 
He was hot and cold with you one minute. He's hot and horny in the next minute. He's cold and clammy. That's because he was dealing with multiple choices. You and this other person. Okay. He had clouded your judgment. Illusions. Had you off balance. Rejection in reverse. <clears throat> Even though he he did what he did and how he had you conflicted, you still you you never you didn't reject this master. Even though he had you off balance in your illusions, in illusions distorted, you didn't reject him. Now that's not for everybody, but it's for somebody. Okay. But he, he, he allowed this ex of his or whoever this karmic feminine, a side piece, side chick, ex-wife or whoever. <clears throat> she, he, he allowed her to, you know, um, she betrayed him into, betrayed him into committing to her by saying that that's a, that's baby is his and it's not. How does this masculine feel towards divine feminine now that he found out this baby ain't his? He don't like the distance between you and him. Maybe you blocked him. You've given yourself space and he don't like that. And this, this is a broken heart. Okay. It came in reverse. He may feel that you're you've gotten over the broken heart, and now he wanna start over with you. Yeah, it broke your heart in the past, and he didn't went through this shit with whoever this is. And it could be some some years then went between you and him. Okay? And you're over the broken hearts, and now he wanna start over with you. But he's crying, okay? Because he know he broke your heart. And maybe he wants to unbreak your heart, okay? Maybe he's broken hearted right now and he because of the separation between you and him. Okay? Take that where it resonates, y'all. Okay? How does Divine Feminine feel towards this masculine? Wow. You wanted to build a, a, a foundation. You wanted to be married to this person. And you don't you don't feel like you're better off without him. He makes you happy. And this is where the curse and the hex came in. It was somebody who who came in and did some sort of hex or witchcraft. So I'm going to get my witchcraft deck and see what was the witchcraft that she did. And I'm asking if you have if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and hit that subscription button. And if you haven't thumbs up the video, thumbs up the video for me. Okay, Holy Spirit. Can you show me to clarify the hex? The curse, negative mindset, <clears throat> the magic oracle. Somebody may need to put um, a circle of protection. I don't know about that, but I'll tell you to put a, a line of salt across your door. The magic oracle, magic circle. Okay, for protection. Somebody, maybe divine feminine, maybe you need to protect yourself from this person. Or this person needs to learn how to protect themselves. Yeah, to clear, to clear the energy with clearance here. Somebody needs to 
learn how to protect himself using salt and, and burning white candles um amethyst okay somebody so she was this moon cycles she was doing somebody need to use their intuition or this person was doing moon magic okay she was doing a curse she was trying to curse somebody or hex somebody on the full moon. And the full moon is coming up real soon. So uh, either within the, the, the night or the next day or something. So you all make sure you tie up your head tonight. And um, if you have an amethyst and you have, you've been having nightmares and shit. Or you can't sleep. Get an amethyst. Make sure you, you charge it and sage it. Okay, you can you can charge it by putting it. In a bowl of salt, fully covered. You put the crystal in the in the salt. I mean, in a bowl, and then you cover it, okay, so you can't see it no more, and let it stay in there for 24 hours, and then the next day, you take it out, okay, and you put it under your pillow. But when you go to sleep at night, if you've been feeling nightmares, um, you you feel like a witch on your back. And, all of that, you know, weird shit going on in your sleep and you just feel like you can't sleep, put an amethyst under your pillow and get yourself a black obsidian and put it under your pillow. Okay? I don't know who needs to hear that, but somebody needs to hear it. Thank me later. Okay? Tell me more. Yeah. She's she was she was doing some sort of candle magic. Okay? She's doing candle magic. This is why the spirit is saying for you to put a line of salt across your door. Um, start sweeping your house, sweeping out all of the, the negative energy. People may walk in your house that could have an energy that's attached to them that's negative. But if you put a line of salt across your door, I don't think they can come in. Okay, I'm going to have to look up, you know, exactly so I can tell you guys, you know, how what, what to do. I put a line of salt across my door. So can't know if somebody come in my house and they have a demonic attachment to them or a, a low vibrational energy attached to them. It can't come in my house. Okay. It's not welcome. It's not allowed. And it don't have clearance to be in my house. Okay. This is why you use, you get you some, um, hold on. I'm going to show you. Wait a minute. Excuse me, my grandbaby's over here with me too. But you get some of this. It's called Florida water. Okay? And what you do with this stuff, it's old school cologne, but it's it's a spiritual cleansing agent. Okay? You can put this. You can put it in your mop water. You put it in your spray bottle. Spray your counters off with it. Um, spray some on your doorknob. Put it in your bath water when you're taking a bath. Clean your bath with it, okay? Um, sprinkle a little dash on your children. Just use it. It, it. it removes negative energies and stuff. It's good for spiritual baths. So you get that. And this is important for somebody because... This energy, if she did all of this type of stuff, if she was doing some sort of moon magic and candle magic to get your person to marry her or to, to see past the facade of her making him believe that this baby is his, then, you know, um, she's been doing magic. So if your person, if he still comes to your house, this is why it's, it's, it's best for you to put a line of salt across your door. If this person and they come and sleep in your bed or anything, put an amethyst under your pillow because you don't know what this karmic ex is throwing over him. She could be throwing, you know, um, energetic uh, attachments to him. 
spiritual attacks, um, negative shit, and he come in your house, and them demons are come right in with him. So this is why you put the salt across your door. Okay. And y'all get in them comments and tell me if I've been helping you with any of the advice that I've been helping you spiritually. Please put it in the comments for me so I can know. I see, I get, you know, get them in the email and I see some, but I, I didn't help a bunch of people. It's over 15,000 of y'all. So I need you to tell me in the comments how I helped you. How did Auntie help you? Did I help you by making you laugh? Did I help heal your heart? Did I give you some good wisdom and knowledge, guidance, advice? Put it in the comments for me, okay? I love you guys. And I love giving you and telling you the knowledge and the information that I'm learning myself. Okay? And everything that I tell you, what I'm experienced, I have experienced it before. So I spiritually protect myself. As you can see. Hi, y'all. You see my, my little, that's my bastet, and that's um, my Venus, Aphrodite, okay, the water goddess, and I have the cat goddess, bastet, and I, it's, I, I guess it's my altar, I bring gifts, and I, you know, I do things, and I pray for protection. You know, because energies will come into your house. And um, I don't want nobody coming in the comments talking about the altars and all of that shit. They have altars in the church. So shut the fuck up with that. Okay. And they're there and, and it's it's the they're they're worshiping Jesus Christ and don't even know the, the full story about them. So I don't want don't nobody come in here trying to tell me how I worship the most high and, and how I do what I do. It's me. But anyway, this karmic is jealous over you and this masculine is crying because he thought this baby was his. And she did some sort of magic on him that uh and manipulation. Okay. A curse, a hex, moon magic, burning candles and shit. And this also means for some of you, you need to burn candles yourself. Okay? You get you some of the, the, the big seven-day candles. Um, they have them at the 99-cent store. And some of them, they don't burn seven-day. They say seven-day. But um, the ones that's, that I've been seeing from the 99-cent store that I've been buying, they, they'll burn like uh, four days. Okay? But you can see how many days. It depends, I guess. But I'm going to pull some more energy to see what happened How what happened between this karmic energy and this divine masculine. What was the energy going on between this divine masculine and this karmic energy? What was the energy? Engagement in reverse. So, divine feminine. When I see the engagement in reverse, I feel like he was he he wanted to be engaged to you. This is an appointment. Okay? He wanted to be engaged to you. But she did some sort of hex or curse or she with the negative mindset. She could have been, you know, speaking negative about you to make him not want to marry you, but to marry her. Um where is this card at? Like, who is the fairest? Yeah. She was in a competition with you. So she 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 knows she was losing if she had to do magic to get him. You know what I mean? There is no competition. If you have to use magic and do a hex and a curse on somebody, you must feel that you don't have what it takes to get him on your own. Or he, you know he don't want you. So what you'll do is what they're doing is, is still in these masculines energy still in a will making them be in, in karmic relationships so this have to be a divine masculine okay and you are his divine feminine if this is resonating with you 
he wanted to marry you, but there was a karmic ex that was jealous of you. They came in between. This is your soulmate, your twin flame. Now he's crying over you. Yeah, she be that's with the betrayal coming to the light. Tell me more about this divine masculine and this karmic feminine. Damn, you see that flew way over there. He has no the patience has ran out with him. Mm-hmm. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> So yeah, there's a lot of confusion going on between them and betrayal. Because now this masculine is determined to get you back after he left you out in the cold. But I don't believe this was this was his fault. This is I, I feel a lot of this energy all the time. Okay. <clears throat> these masculines there, they'll sleep with women and, and they don't know that these women is doing witchcraft on them. Okay. I don't care if she walking around with nice shoes on, dressed all up and all of that. They those the witches too. I don't care that she's sitting up in church, you know, or she got a fancy job and do this or whatever. She's a witch. Okay. His patience done ran out with her. Yeah, she was in competition. So tell me more, Holy Spirit. Narcissistic. She's a narcissist. This is why she did this. If she's narcissistic and this man don't want her, she's saying to herself, this is what a narcissist will do. Okay, well, if you don't want to be with me, I'm going to make you be with me. They want to control you to the point to where they'll start, you know, either paying for magic, paying somebody to do some sort of spell work just to be in control of, of, of their victim. Okay, and this is what who this this person is. She's in a competition with divine feminine. Wait a minute, y'all. I gotta hit my blood. Let me hit the blood. Yeah, so now this masculine, his judgment is clouded, he's distorted, and this is the same energy that you experienced when you was dealing with him. <coughs> yeah, but this is this is point blank period. She she did some sort of marriage. I mean, um, some sort of ritual with candles and hexes and shit to keep to get this masculine not to marry his divine feminine and to marry her. She used the manipulation was the was saying that a baby was his to get him to marry her. And the baby ain't even his. So yeah. yeah. You know sorry, uh boys. Sorry game. It's up there. Up here? Up in the closet in there. Terrible not to get it. You can't reach it. In the hallway closet where y'all sleeping bags are. <coughs> y'all, excuse me. That's my grandbaby. Yeah, so, um, this person, she's a narcissist. Yeah, she's a narcissist to where when this masculine, he don't want her, she's like basically saying, if you don't want me, well, I'm going to do magic on you, you know, even just to say that you with me, even though I know you don't want me deep, deep down in my heart, you don't want me. You don't want to be with me. Okay. This is what this karmic is saying, but to bring to, 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 she, see, she's, she's a demonic force that was sent to come in between divine masculine and his divine feminine. So, She's being a, a narcissist like, okay, well, I, I know you don't want me, so I'm going to still, you know, I'm going to do something to, I'm going I'm to I'm make you believe you, this baby is yours. I'm going to control you. And that's for some of you, that can mean the baby is the manipulation. 
And for others of you, she did it. She did it burning candles, doing magic, you know. Mm hmm. But now she's brokenhearted. She's hurt. Mm hmm. Tell me more. Who is the fairest? Divine feminine. Clarify who is the fairest. Clarify who is the fairest. Resisting in reverse. Yep. See? Re resisting. If this came in reverse, this masculine was resisting this, this karmic. Okay? So she did a hex. That's just what I was just saying. Because he didn't want her. She did some she 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 did some manipulation or magic to make to get him to commit to her or to marry her. And the magic was she did some sort of magic um, to manipulate him. And for others of you, she or she could have been doing trying to do a marriage spell or have a baby spell. You know, people do spells for different shit. Okay. And she did it because maybe this masculine don't want to be with her. So she went, she didn't, she didn't basically went to the to the extreme to do this. And um, she's broken hearted. She broke her own heart. Mm. Anything else, Holy Spirit? What else? What else, Holy Spirit? What else? What else? Oh, Spirit just told me to get this other day. Okay, I need it. He said, please take me back. trying to shuffle these cards up a little before I ask the question or if they fall out, they fall out. I want to be inside of you right now, says Divine Masculine to his Divine Feminine. You are beautiful, beautiful, and I mistreated you. After I use my intuition, I know who you are. So this this karmic feminine, she told this masculine about the baby, or or he went and 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 he went and he took a DNA test. Uh huh. He took a DNA test. That's what them papers is in reverse. And if he was married to him, them papers can represent represent a DNA test and a um, divorce. Okay? DNA, he could have found out that the baby wasn't his and he divorced him. Because he only married her because he thought the baby was his. And he's feeling betrayal when it came to the light. Now she's broken hearted. She did all sorts of magic and shit. This is resonating. Put it in the comments for me. You know your person is dealing with their their ex is jealous of you. Hit that thumbs up. 
Yeah, a huge mistake. This person is 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 uh craving you right about now. Because if, if, if when he found out the magic, the magic wore off. In Divine Feminine, you could have been telling your masculine about this. I felt like you were too good to be true. It was something you were hiding. That's why he 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 mistreated you. He didn't realize that you was a divine feminine. And now that he realized he made a big mistake, he wanna he wanna get in that divine pussy. Okay. <laughs> he wants that divine pussy because now he knows who you are. And he's he's listening to his intuition. He says he apologized. So it's like if, if you was born in this masculine or you being divine feminine, you could have been trying to awaken him to his divine masculine qualities or whatever. And she did magic and shit. She could have been blocking his intuition. She could have been doing spell work towards his intuition so you wouldn't listen so he wouldn't listen to you, you know. So like when you're talking to him. He's there, but he's not there, or, or he didn't want to hear it and shit, okay? That's because she was doing magic, not wanting you and, and him to be able to connect mentally, physically, or spiritually. And she fucked his homeboy. The baby probably is his homeboys. <laughs> Chivalry is dead, huh? <laughs> I done my own research on crystals. I found out you was truthful and she lied. I apologize. You are so beautiful and I mistreated you. She's always trying to feed me. So she's trying to feed him. Let's see why is she always trying to feed him. Why is this karmic always trying to feed this masculine? Why is the karmic always trying to feed divine masculine? Wow. See? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Wow. See, this card, this is the snake. But when I, I, re, when I, I read it, it's, it's when I see it, I see this snake wanting to return. This is a return. This is their ex. Who have multiple partners. Cheater. So that baby ain't his. All of these fruit out here. These are the, the, the options that she would bite at. And she wouldn't use. use uh, practice safe sex. Okay. Yeah. Damn. And she fucked his homeboy. Wow. Thank you Holy Spirit. He made a huge mistake. Yep. See, this is a low vibrational energy, and he felt like you was too good, and it was something you was hiding. She could have convinced him, you know, with the mind manipulation, telling him something that you was doing. But see, this is you, Divine Feminine. You got the, 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 you close to the, the most high. You believe in God. This person is a snake. This is resonating. Hit that thumbs up. Damn. Oh shit, y'all! I'm I'm 48 minutes off into this video, babies. Auntie gonna have to end this video. Card went way up under the table. Oh, okay. So, 
that's that when I see that this card <laughs> when I see this card that's that's what I call the termination of a pregnancy card and it's right next to a storm for some of you this she could have terminated the pregnancy she she was exposed she could have found out that she your person could have found out she was fucking him and his homeboy and he confronted her with it and she had an abortion he could have divorced her. Okay, and for some of you, this could mean that um, your person found out that the baby wasn't his. Either way it goes, she going through a storm. Okay. She didn't shed a lot of tears and she broken hearted. Tell me more. The energy of the sun is out there. Which represents success, radiance, and abundance. It gives you strength and tells you that no matter where you go or what you do, your positive energy will follow you and bring you happiness and joy. Yeah. This is this is somebody coming out of jail, being out of an entrapment. You know, in a bird cage, they're getting out. So, your person... Um, he didn't got out of this little bird cage where she had him in. He didn't got out of that shit. Yep. Wow. This was a good reading. I hope it don't resonate with nobody, but I'm sure it do. But I'm saying, um, this this karmic energy. So okay, before I end it, I might as well go on and use this deck and see what 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 the message is from from this masculine to this feminine he says i'm leaving i'm ready to leave a situation or the mindset that has not served me and hindered my growth so this was this was someone um he's leaving that this was this this is his ex now he's crying over you and um, he want to start over with you. I'm sorry. I hate how much I've hurt you. I'm so sorry for all the pain that I caused. Tears when I think about you. I cry. See, he's crying. Because now he's using his intuition and he see that this girl just came in his life and manipulated him by saying she was pregnant and pulled him away from his true divine feminine. She was a karmic that was sent to do that. So if you still love your person, then um, you go on and, and you, you, you be with them. Okay? If this is resonating with you, then you 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 um I suggest you can give this person another chance but before you lay down with them sexually you make sure they cleanse their energy okay teach to them about teach them about spiritually cleanliness okay and you keep sage in your house and stuff because if she's jealous, she's she will be trying to, you know, she'll try to send shit to you. But like I said, if you continue to, you know, spiritually cleanse your house, bless your house, put salt across your front door, sleep with the amethyst, tie your head up at night. She can't get all up in your head and can't fuck with your crown chakra and all of that. And then make sure on, on, on the full moon that you, you know, you do all these things. Okay. So, I hope Auntie helped y'all out in your situation or gave you clarity in your situation. If I did, 
I'm asking you to give me a big old fat thumbs up. Shout out in the comment section for me. Um, your city and your state and your country. Don't put no addresses. And if you're interested in a personal reading, the information will be in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next read. Peace out.